my next question is to Pallavi. Uh, Pallavi, can you elaborate on what does Mohan Foundation do? What does it stand for? What was the main objective of the foundation when it was first established? All right. Mohan, to begin with, is an acronym. It is an acronym for multi-organ harvesting aid networks. We're talking about multiple organs. Harvesting is a term you use when you remove organs from one body for the purpose of transplantation into another. So it's a it's a body, it's an organization that aids and supports this work. It's not a name of an individual. I, of course, keep getting invites saying Mrs. Pallavi Mohan. No, it's, it, it is not the name of an individual. It is an acronym. Uh, it was set up way back in 1997 by a gentleman called Dr. Sunil Shroff. Uh, a urologist who had worked in the UK for many years. And when he came back to India, he realized that while the transplantation of human organs had been passed for, for about three, four years, really there was nothing really happening in the country where disease donation was con uh, concerned. Also, this was a time uh, in India when trafficking was at its peak and, and, and internationally we were seen as a country, you know, that all it, all it did was you know, um, uh, sell and buy organs and uh, exploit poor people. So every time ex commercialization was spoken about, India came in, in, in the conversation. So Dr. Shroff, being the brave man that he is, decided to start the foundation with the sole aim of promoting deceased organ donation. So we as an organization, we only look at deceased organ donation. We are not involved in the live transplant space. Uh, we take a 360 degree approach of course, creating public awareness, awareness amongst the medical fraternity, amongst the cross section of people continues to be the main focus. But over time, we have realized public awareness is not enough. Uh, and the problem is not just with the public. We, we, we keep shirking responsibility from various other stakeholders by saying, oh, our country is not ready to give. Our people are not ready to give. There are religious constraints. No, there are a whole lot of other constraints. Our government is not you know, so aggressively invested in this cause. So health is a state subject. There are some state governments that have taken a lead and they are doing well. So we need to get more state governments involved. Our whole hospital structure, our, our hospitals, our doctors, they need to be a little more invested in this program. There has to be, it has to be done with more passion because it is more than just your regular work. It means perhaps staying up the whole night. It means dealing with a whole lot of family members and other, other, other people. So, Training is is, is, is is something that we do very, very strongly. Um, training what we call transplant coordinators. These are the people who actually speak to the family at the time of death. And believe you, that's not an enviable role. Uh, speaking to a family when they've just been given the news of death, that's when our transplant coordinators um, step in and, 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 and ask them to, to look beyond their grief and, and, and think of other people who could benefit with their one single decision, which is to donate the loved one's organs. So we train this group of people, we train critical care people, neurosurgeons in, in how to identify brain death, how to certify brain death, how to you know, maintain organs. Uh, and then we, we take, take up work in newer states. They have recently begun work in Manipur. Uh, and, and inshallah, before the year is ending, we, we should have had our first transplant in the government hospital there, thanks to collective efforts of Mohan Foundation and the people who are funding the program and advocacy with the government and a very big chunk of work uh, is, is with the patient community through a support group called Triumphs. So awareness, advocacy, training, counseling, hospital preparedness.